What do we need to tin high power contacts or a lot of wires, for example, in making harnesses? A regular soldering iron is either impossible to use due to the high thermal capacitance requirement or takes way too long to perform the task. And this is exactly where soldering baths like this one, ST11C, comes in. This soldering bath is not too high powered. Its capacitance is relatively low, 180 watts. However, it's also enough to tin most of the parts that we come across in our everyday life. The front panel of the device has only two control units, a soldering bath switch and a temperature regulator. Before we use the bath, we need to remove any solder left from the previous time. Now we put granulated solder or even relatively thick rods, say with a diameter of 80 mm. Inside the bath and wait until it heats up. After this is done, the bath uh, will contain melted solder. We can put glycerin, flux and torque and then we just strip the wires and put them first into the flux and then into the solder to tin. We can apply flux following the traditional methods, which is exactly what I am doing right now. I will simply undress the wires. I have a MGS HV wire that is rather difficult to tin because it's still braiding. It's just not that easy to remove. I have stripped the wires, put them all together, and without stripping the silk, applied flux. I will now put the wires into the bath. It took me literally 11 seconds to tin all four of the wires. The operation took a minimum about amount of time. We can also tin high power contacts that require high thermal capacitance. I have applied flux, put the contacts into the bath, one second and my contact is tinned. We can thus see that ST11C soldering bath helps make such operations as group tinning of contacts and wires easier and save a large amount of time.